Don't stray out of my sight, Nelly. I don't want you getting lost in here. Keep it coming, Job. Desserts are the key to maintaining this awesome bot. Hmm. I better get back to work. I'm running things all by myself. Wow. If you need help, you... Hey there. I'm Martin. And you are? <laughs> Ew. Grossed out. Yeah. Yeah. What? What did I say? <laughs> Piece of advice, Martin. If you want to pick up girls, you should probably step up the personal grooming. What are you talking about, Diana? My <gasps> grooming is impeccable. <sighs> no! No, look what you've done! <laughs> when are you gonna grow up and stop making messes? <sighs> I don't make messes. Huh. Oh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I bet you can't stay completely clean for one full day. I so can, but whoever loses, and I'm sure it will be you, has to give Java a foot massage. No gloves. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Deal. Massage, good. The center. Mm. Hurry up and open the door over there, Java. So much for lunch. Don't worry, Di. We've got an all-you-can-eat buffet right here. Steer can get quite messy. Oh, please. It's just the Sanders Virtual Combat Simulator. Cool. Hey, can I try? No, but you can investigate the strange disappearance of a child from a library in northern France. Northern France? It could have something to do with Karnak. A group of hippies disappeared there in the 70s, you know. <gasps> Thank you, Martin. You've just set my cloning research back about six months. And you almost lost our bet. 
Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to save Agent Anaconda from the reptile dispatching cyborg. This way, guys. <sighs> I just love the French countryside. It's so... relaxed. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Martin Mystery, secret agent extraordinaire. <laughs> and now well, allow I... us to introduce ourselves properly. I'm Diana, this is Java, and that's Martin. We're from the center. Why don't you tell us what happened, sir? It, it was closing time, and I told my Nelly not to stray out of sight. And she didn't listen, and then I heard her scream, and she vanished without a trace. Huh. Maybe an invisible man took her. And that would certainly explain a lack of evidence. Why do I seriously doubt that? Because you doubt everything, Diana. You're a skeptic. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Smooth move, Mr. Secret Agent Extraordinaire. Uh, Diana, it was all part of my plan. <gasps> Otherwise, I never would have uncovered all this cool goo. Whoa! Whoa. <sighs> Oopsie. Wouldn't want to get my hands dirty and lose our little bet. <laughs> Analyzing data. Sample identified. Composition. Acidic substrate comprised chiefly of sphagnum moss and peat. Aha! Bog goo! Bog goo? That's odd. Forget the invisible man. My guess is a reanimated bog body left this. Excuse me? Oh yeah. According to European folklore, those who met their end in the bogs often came back as mummies seeking revenge. The only question is, why is it taking children? Where do you come up with this stuff? Paranormal Monthly. Every issue comes with a wealth of information and a toy surprise. Of course. <laughs> hmm. Yeah? I told my Ian he wasn't allowed to leave the house, but he didn't listen. And now that thing's stolen him away. Help! Help me! Monster! I knew it. Don't worry. We'll get your son back. Whoa! Sure, I've heard of shape-shifting mm. in space-time wormholes, but I didn't know they actually existed. So, what do we do now? Open up the wormhole thingy and morph ourselves after the monster? Too late for that. The portal's closed. Besides, diving in that hole would pretty much ensure that I'm Java's official toe-toucher. What? So now because of our stupid bet, the trail is cold? Not cold. Huh, it's a book covered in bog goo. He must have found it in the library. Hmm. Tale of the Boogeyman? Oh, sounds like some kind of freaky fairy tale. More like non-fiction. Hey, check out what the main character's up to. No way. He's stealing kids! And dragging them off to his evil bog world. Oh, this is too freaky. Guess your bog body theory wasn't so kooky after all. Thanks. I think. Okay, so now we know who our bad guy is, how do we stop him? Piece of cake. All we have to do is read ahead and see how this boogeyman story ends. Good thinking, Martin. Huh? Except that the last page is missing. So much for outsmarting our monster. Maybe not. There's still one thing we haven't tried. You watch activated. Legend X selected. Boogeyman. 
According to the legend X, he's a mythological nursery monster from 13th century France. He comes out at night and steals naughty children, sealing them in his boogie world for all eternity. Wait a minute! And Nellie and Ian were both naughty! That's why the boogeyman took them! Hey, you're right! Only that still doesn't tell us how to stop him. Don't be too sure. Come on, I've got a plan. Okay, so we've gathered up the naughtiest kids left in the town. Now tell me, what's your plan? We get them to behave badly and draw the monster right to them. That's your plan? Martin, Mystery, that's the worst idea you've ever had! Oh, I have to admit, son, it doesn't sound like a very bright idea to me either. Aren't you a little young to be running this investigation? Trust me, you've got nothing to fear. Java and I will be here to protect your children. Right then, if you need help, we'll be outside. Okay, time to get this party started. Who's up for jumping on their beds? Me! Well then, get to it! <laughs> oh, come on, you can do better than that. <laughs> yeah, and this guy's really cool! At least someone around here appreciates my genius. Yeah, a bunch of ten-year-olds. Okay, it's been ten whole seconds and nothing. I don't think the boogie guy's gonna show. Just be patient. to take the plunge. Hey, look! I managed to stay completely clean. Am I good or what? If you're so good, why don't you find the stolen kids and get us out of this creepy place? Looks like the portal magically transported us to some sort of alternate world. Huh? huh? Mm -hmm. I thought this place looked familiar. Check it out! This is the Boogeyman's world! Whoa, you're right. That just leaves one question. Where's the Boogeyman? <laughs> Something tells me he can't be far. <gasps> Martin! Joppa! Over here! Diana! Diana! Diana? Hey, what's that? <laughs> Java, stop it! That tickles! Hey, wait!
we're the good guys. We're here to help you. <laughs> we want to go home. Don't worry, you're with the master now. I'll get us out of here in no time. Not likely. What kind of a whatever you are brings innocent people to a place like this? You're here because you're naughty children, and you're never going to leave. Excuse me, I'm not a child. I am a young lady. A very naughty young lady. Oh, don't do her late homework. <gasps> How did you know that? I know all. Enjoy eternity. out of here in no time no sweat i will get us out of here in no time <laughs> okay just a small bump in the road doesn't change a thing i can still get us out you better come up with something fast before we suffocate in these worms sort of portal up here. Oh, if only I had something to help me reach, like a, a big phone book. Hey, will this work? Perfect! Yeah, here it is! Grab hold! takes the children back into his world. Mom, too, ought to do the trick. <sighs> yeah. Let's see how you deal with this swamp freak. to the library and find the last page of this book. I'll check out the spot where Nelly went missing. Java and I will cover the rest of the library. Bungie almost never fails. Martin! Java! I figured it out! Look, in the end, the children send the boogeyman back into his book! Give up! No! 
lived happily ever after. No, oh, even after being so careful, I still got a stain on my shirt. Oh, I guess we know who's gonna be Java's personal foot slave. Massage. I was in the area and thought I'd drop by and congratulate you on a job well done, troops. Thanks. Though, uh, truth be told, I did everything myself. <sighs> hey! yourself? Huh, that's allowed. On behalf of the entire town, we'd like to thank you for saving our children. Don't mention it. It was my pleasure. Hey, Martin, can't you stay? You're not like other grown-ups. Maybe that's because <laughs> he hasn't actually grown up yet. Hey, look. It wasn't a stain after all. It's a piece of paper from the library. Looks like I'm really clean and you're really massaging Java's feet. <gasps> Uh, maybe you could take a rain check? Java what now? Ugh! A deal's a deal, Di. Get massaging. Mm. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>